Alrighty. Here we are again. Same book. Different part. Part four. Here we go. What was going on with the Blurbies? I wanted to know if they're from like the future. Near. Uh, near future. And it almost seems like Sazed is writing them. Or a terrorist man. I'm going to go with Sazed though because he's the only one we know of really. Because sometimes there'll be a sentence, blah, 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 I think. And that's how he usually talks. <laughs> you know? So. So, yeah, that's what I was wanting to know about the Blurbies. Um, yeah. So, let's just keep going. So, Vin is been drugged well she was stuck in the, the cave vault. vault thing and then it's either die or be drugged and then we can take you out right and who the person who drugged her though was, was one of ellen's old buddies yeah old, one of his old philosophy philosophy friends i can never say that word right i don't remember what his name was but he was related to justice i believe i think he was a hasting because justice was a hasting right and they failed to say anything about lynn beheading him so well why would you bring that up yeah well i was kind of afraid when it was just him and vin since she doesn't know that Elin has even had a conversation with him, I was afraid she was going to say something. But she didn't. Well, she's not loose with information anyway. That's true. Um, but yeah, so she... She's not a normal gossip. <laughs> yeah, so she's been <clears throat> drugged and removed from the cave thing. <clears throat> which I don't know if we talked in the last one. She thought it was Reen that was in there with her. Mm -mm. We didn't talk about it. No, no, I think. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. She but thought we find we out it was. Yeah, we thought it was Reen, <clears throat> but it's actually Ru <clears throat> Ruin. Excuse me, it's Ruin. Yeah. And then, so we'll come back to that. But, okay. So then you'll have to remember to bring us back. After she's <clears throat> drugged and taken out, she awakes in chains. Right. No medals in her. Right. And one of the camp people were, like, checking on her to see, like, if she was still alive and stuff. Like, let in to verify. Mm hmm And then asked, like, the most insane question. I don't remember what it was, but I remember being like, who would ask that? What? Was it something about her last meal? Last breakfast, wasn't it? I think so. But why were they asking that? Probably because it's something that they would know that only she would know, so they it couldn't were be a chondra. A chondra, yes. Because a chondra trying, would ask. But why were they thinking she was potentially a chondra? I can't remember, because she was talking to yeomen this whole time. Well... That she, after she was drugged and woke up, she was talking to yeomen. Well, it's it's the political play of, like, if they know Vin is dead, they'll just attack. Right. But if it appears Vin is alive, even if it's a chondra, maybe they'll stay back kind of thing, I think is what is being played at. Oh, okay. Well, anyways. So, yeah, she has this conversation with Yeoman. She's pretty much stuck there. Meanwhile, while she's talking to him, Ruin's in her head saying, Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yes, yes. And then... <clears throat> Which is funny because he just wants to kill her. Ruin? No. Yeoman. Oh, Yeoman, yes. Because she killed his god. Right. That's the only thing she's guilty of in his mind. Right. That's all he cares about. Right. So, but anyways, we leave with her fate still unknown. Well, she's in a cage. Well, yes, she's in a cage, but... And then Ruin is like, 
<laughs> yeah. Didn't he come like visit her? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So she's still in her cage, whatever. Alinda's still out and about in the lands. Man, he He ran out and He ran out. He had a he he's like, I wanna play Mistborn and so he just like ran out in the night and He had a van attacking sets encampment kind of uh, moment. Yeah. Except it was Kolos. Right. Well, he was also going out to get more Kolos because they lost Well, that's lunch. that was the original concept, but he went ham. Mm-hmm. Not, well, not, not hammond. Like, yes, not pewter burning ham. <laughs> but, yeah, he went crazy. He took out a bunch of Kolos. And in, I don't know if it was when he was heading back. He was bringing the Kolos back to the camp. He encountered the Miss Spirit again. Which, which was really weak. Which was really weak. And I'm under the impression that it was preservation. Ding. This is the same one who convinced Vin to give him, give a Lynn, the Adium after it. It wasn't Adium, but the, the, the metal bead from the, the metal vase. Bead. I thought it was Adium. No. Anyways, give him the metal bead that from makes the him vase a after one. preservation gutted him, well, essentially. Well, preservation did that to keep the prison of ruin intact. Yes. Or so hopefully. Because apparently preservation and ruin had some kind of deal. And preservation, from what I gather, didn't like it because ruin ruins part of the deal for helping make everything was he can destroy it when he wants well eventually and then preservation well it's preservation preservation doesn't want anything destroyed yeah so whatever they've got their own little battle going on and humanity is like pawns in the whole game and I, there was a <laughs> can't remember how it was brought up, but there was a part where, you know, basically, Ruin's looking for its body. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then, well, what's Preservation's body? None of this is answered yet, but... No. But apparently, Preservation is, um, if not dead, on Death's doorstep. Oh, he died. Because he was trying to pull... Body just went well, <laughs> do we know if it's a he? Anyways, it was trying to tell... Alin things. Used the last of his energy to communicate Trump, with Ellen. Yeah. But in the end, I don't think he knows. He just knows it was trying to point him to go a certain direction. Did he end up going that direction? I don't remember. I don't really... I don't recall either. Um, so, that's what Alin is doing. He's still trying to figure out how to save the world. <laughs> Um, Sace, he has become not only keeper of religion, he's also Mr. Engineer <laughs> of Waterworks. Well, S Spook gave him a reason to put the metal mines back on. Right, and it wasn't related to the religion, which he's been struggling with. Right, so he, Spook, gave him a good enough reason to convince him to put his metal mines back on, which he's really against. Right. But that's because he's been primarily... Trying to debunk all their religions. Right. And that's mainly what his metal minds consisted of. Well, okay. Well, actually, they had, he, like, all the knowledge, but... But he was specialized. In religion. Yeah. Which, so, as we know and have been saying, he's been questioning. So it's <laughs> safe... Much like myself. <laughs> so it's safe to assume <clears throat> that the specialists of the other keepers, that knowledge is just lost... But Sazed has majority. Right. So anyways, he found the engineering section of his library. And reworked the waterways and um, to the city. Yeah, to fill up the slots. I don't know what city they're in, but it's the citizens' city who Spook has had um, issues with and is trying to get him to show that he's an Alamancer. Surprise! He wasn't. He's not the Alamancer. His, His sister. sister is. Ay, ay, ay. But in this, we find out how Spook was able... Well, you already knew. I found out how Spook was able to burn the pewter that he, mag he magically started burning after he escaped the fire and became the survivor of the flames. 
Mm-hmm. So, yes, I've got a little bit better idea on how this magic system works now. So, it would be prior to going into the flames when he had that Fight. scrimmage with the citizen's bodyguards. Because you remember um, one thug was like right there and the other thug thrust the sword through that thug into him. Uh, that's what I was going to say. And when then he was the scrimmaging, tip snapped off. Mm-hmm. When he was scrimmaging, yes, he got stabbed with the spike that went through the pewter burner thug. And so that's so how he's like been an able to, So, and it broke off. So he's been carrying that piece around. Mm-hmm. Which is also how Ruin was able to manipulate him. Mm-hmm. Yep, it wasn't Kelsier. I don't. It's not Kelsier talking to him. It's Ruin. Um, and not, you find out also that the citizen had something similar because he, he ripped did, it out of him because. He had... What did he have? It was something under his arm or something. But which, was it bronze? I think so. Yeah. So he had a bronze piece in him. And when Spook ripped it out, not only did the citizen scream, the voice in his head, Ruin, also screamed. And then when he proceeded to rip the pewter out of himself, there was screaming again from the voice. Until it was out. Until it was out. It's almost like it's being ripped out of the voice as well. So. Well, it's, he's losing a bit of control on the world. Yeah. So, but, um, Spook has pretty much assumed the role of leader. I know Sazed was put in charge by Lynn, but uh, Sazed is more than welcome to pass this over to someone else. He's, he's happy. like, go ahead, you're doing fine. Um, so. He doesn't defeat Citizen, but he does. Well, I, Cause he since was, the city is on fire... Yeah, his it's changed. His objective. Because mm-hmm. originally so kind of he was together. trying to take out the citizen, but now he has come to the realization that this voice thing has not good intentions. So, I still think... I don't know. Maybe the hero is back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... He's like the only one who hasn't really had. He's still got a part to play. Right, but like, I don't know. I feel like everyone that we have encountered has had some kind of plan from the get go to be like, make that change. And Spook's kind of just been going along, just wishing he could help them more in their efforts to make that change. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. He's like an underdog. He's more of an underdog than the rest of the crew members. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, yeah. I mean, so, like, and spent you know the what? first two books kind of just being there. Right. That's what I'm saying. So, I like to root for the underdog at times. And this is one of those times. Because, I hate to say it, but any liking that I had of a Lynn or Vin, I'm kind of just like, meh, I'm over them. <laughs> I'm over their their saga and their journey and I mean that could also be just because I'm like ready to wrap the book up she doesn't binge things very well I don't no I don't I'm not a the only thing I binge is food that is not healthy for you ice cream (laughs) ice cream yes so (laughs) um but yeah so I'm hoping good things continue for spook um, was there anything else? Tensoon is looking for Vin. Well, we mentioned that at the top. He mm-hmm. wore the... He went back into one of the towns to try and find Vin and Elin. Luthadel. And in dog form. Mm-hmm. And he was over, overhearing the guards. But he's like, man, I need to get more information. So, apparently, way back when, when he was... Pretending to be Osir, before he became Osir, he took him out while he was in Kelsier's form. That's what I gather, because he takes the bones on and he looks like Kelsier, so that he could approach these guards and be like, That's hey, not exactly it. Well, what is it then? So, basically, he interrogated Osir when he was killing him. Right. And Osir divulged where the bones were. 
Right, but don't the bones have to be of the person or thing you're trying to imitate? Those were Kelsier's bones, yeah. Okay, what did I say that you're saying is not correct? Well, remember, <laughs> when she brought the wolfhound body uh -huh. to Orsier, uh -huh. he wasn't Kelsier. Right. Oh, yes. Well, okay, so I had one little tidbit wrong. But they were Kelsier's bones. Osir just wasn't wearing them. Yeah. But anyways. Because he thought, like, maybe I shouldn't get rid of these. Right. So Tin Soon found them, and it's a good thing Osir didn't get rid of them. Because, like I said, he assumed the role of Kelsier and gathered more information from the guards. I wonder so, if there's going to be some backlash from this. Probably. <laughs> Who knows? And then he proceeded to go bury him and go back to his dog form. So... That's Sin Soon. He His journey continues to find Vin and Lin. I think that probably covers it all. I mean, the parts that we can remember. Took me a while to get through this part. I'm Like I said, I think I'm just ready for the book to be done, so I'm kind of struggling with all the parts at this point. Um, and then I'm waiting on you sometimes, so... I started losing details. Yeah. It happens. So. Life gets in the way. <laughs> yeah, and there's other books that I'm struggling to finish too. So it's not just this one. So don't take any offense, Brandon Sanderson fans. It's not the book. It's me. <laughs> so. It really is her. Yeah. So anyways, that's that for part of four. Part five will be next. Is there a part six? Or is it part five an epilogue? I think it's five an epilogue. Oh, the conclusion is upon us. She'll breeze through that because she I wants it over will, with. I probably because I... <laughs> 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 and with that, see you next week. See ya.